beyond just receiving the scholarship, I've really seen a snapshot of what Jamaica has to offer in terms of academic excellence when I really interacted with a lot of these scholars. So all around, it was an amazing experience. Let me start by saying God is faithful. Honestly, it's an amazing feeling. It's unreal, to be honest. When I was in that room and Sir Allen came to announce the results, I was like, no, that's not the name he called. There's no way that's the name he called. Scholar for 2024 is Mr. Niall Anderson. Being in that room waiting with all the scholars, like, you get to learn their stories and you learn how amazing each one of these individuals are in their own respects, in their own fields. And for it to be narrowed down to you, like, that's an amazing blessing. So I'm feeling really grateful and also hopeful beyond just receiving the scholarship. I've really seen a snapshot of what Jamaica has to offer in terms of academic excellence when I really interacted with a lot of these scholars. So all around, it was an amazing experience. God willing, I'll be attending the University of Oxford. I'm pursuing a master's degree, my research in engineering science with a focus on robotics and artificial intelligence. Why did you choose that field? Why did I choose that field? So I chose robotics and artificial intelligence because I think that's the direction that society is going. Um, I think we need modern skills for a modern society. And I really hope that on completing my degree, I'll be able to come back and upskill other people in Jamaica. My love of technology begun, well, from the days I got like building blocks, I build like humanoid figures and imagine like what if these like came to life? And throughout, I started to just fall in love with numbers like maths and physics. That was just so beautiful to me. And of course, also like I realized I had a bit of creativity because I think it's not really STEM, it's really STEAM. I think an artistic element is needed because I believe that once you're creating, like you need to be able to form new connections. Just as Leonardo da Vinci would paint a beautiful painting that you would look at and say, oh my gosh, how did he imagine that? Or you look at Ferrari and say, wow, that's a sexy car. I think engineering requires so much of creativity. Like, what new are you going to bring? Like, what is going to come and wow people? Or what's going to be novel? So that's always been my interest, like creating something new that can do a lot of good. The change I'd like to make, again, I'd like to really help to upskill the population. So upskilling them in terms of how can we use AI as a tool to really increase our productivity in different sectors. So anywhere from medicine to economics. Um, I'd also like to, you know, be back in the classroom, have workshops where essentially I introduce students to the prospects that exist out there in STEM because I realize, especially in my rural parish of Westmoreland, that a lot of these opportunities, we're unaware of them. Um, but if that is any testament to what Jamaica is capable of, is how we won the robotics competition the other day, or well, the Catherine Johnson Award for Best Engineering Documentation. It really shows the potential that Jamaica is hidden. It's a really a hidden gem that we have in a lot of places that we're not really exploiting to the fullest of their potential. And so I want to come and help to unlock that potential. For the average Jamaican who doesn't know who Niall Anderson is, tell us some more about you. So Niall is a Christian that really believes in the faithfulness of God. And I believe that God will not only come true for me, he'll come true for this nation. And I'm happy to be a servant that, you know, will do some good, will create some change, and hopefully uplift Jamaica if even just a bit.